He was later arrested, but escaped long-term punishment with an insanity plea. Now, the widow of one of his victims described Colthurst as the Englishman with the veneer removed. But here's the thing, Colthurst wasn't English. He was an Irishman born and raised in Cork. Such incidents serve as a stark reminder of what can happen during times of revolution and the harsh realities that are often left out of founding myths. For while many Irishmen and women were willing to fight and die for their independence from Britain, tragically, many of the people they fought were often their own. Well, Zoe, that wraps up another patron chosen extra history series.